it's engagement shoot day and if I have these in my hands, you know that means something's going to end terribly and I'm gonna hate everything. Don't cut bae! I'm not cutting bae! This morning, we have gotten up and done a little bit of work. We don't have to leave for the photo shoot location until like three o'clock. I edited a little bit. Colton's doing some boring business side stuff that he's so good at and I'm not. But I decided what I do when I have somewhere to be and something to look nice for is I wait until 30 minutes before I have to leave and then I hate everything about my body and my face and my skin and the clothes that I've picked. So I'm trying to be proactive and lay everything out, prep the shoes, prep the earrings, prep the everything because we get two outfits for our engagement shoot. And again, for any of you guys that are just happening upon this video, um, we are a couple, we are musicians and content creators, and we are a real life couple that just got engaged a few months ago, and we are taking our engagement photos today. I'm so excited, um, we did a video a little bit back about picking our outfits out, and we have got our two. If you watched that video, then you know what this girly is, and if you didn't, meet Mrs. Spo. She actually is the back of a dress situation, like you're supposed to pin it on the low back of a dress and let it be. <sighs> a long train but I saw it and I thought it would be so cool to treat it like a mini little veil I just think she's so cute always go longer it is just like bangs you go longer than you think and then you can make edits it just the, the impatience takes over I'm scared okay I just went down lower oh my god oh my god we're doing it <gasps> she's perfect maybe it's still kind of awkward Colton can you come look is that cute yeah. So this is dress number one. If you didn't watch our try on video, it has like this open strappy back. This is the second dress. <laughs> Look at the back. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I got her altered to have the straps taken in and I have not tried it on. So like I said in the beginning of this video, we're being more prepped and prepared. I have not done that. Should I try her on? Let's try her on. Alterations made it. I feel locked and loaded, ready to go in. So cute. Let's get beautiful. Stressed. I've had this bottle in my little hair drawer for so long. I don't know where it came from. I don't remember buying it. I must have blacked out. It's like to the last few drops. I'm gonna have to buy more of the Main Magic 10 in 1 primer. It's completely oil consistency though, so you definitely can't overdo it, which I have done, especially on dry hair. Like that might be too much, but here I go. We are on a hair health journey, especially these front pieces because I've been curling those like eight times. Oh, it smells so Good. It smells like expensive hair products, if you know what I mean. Like at the salon when you get your hair done and you leave, it's like, oh my gosh, I'll never get my hair to smell like that again. This kind of smells like that to me. It's so good. And it's just soft. Like it just makes my hair really, really like healthy and shiny looking and so soft. Also, this will be good for me to document and then watch back how um, nuts I get a little bit before we leave because Colton knows. I panic every time we have somewhere to go. Even if I start getting ready three hours before, I will panic. I will be rude to him. For those of you guys that have followed us for a minute, we were on a TV show last year. And with the TV show, that meant every morning, every time we were on our episode, we had professional hair and makeup, which was so nice. Just for me being like a makeup lover, I loved watching actual professional artists do my makeup. Because some of the stuff they would do, I'd be like, oh, I would have never done that, but it looks so good. And some things I was like, hmm, I see why you tried that, but I probably wouldn't do that again. But with hair, I like thought I knew how to curl my hair, but then having someone professional do it, and like when you turn around, it's not like three straight pieces, but then the front's just curled. It's like fully 360, beautiful, full, even curls. Just hits different. I feel like I'm already getting the vibe that I um, hate what I look like, you know? You know the ones. I feel like on the days where I'm like, I kinda wanna curl my hair for the week, like I wanna hair wash day, curl it, style it so it holds for the rest of the week. I'll do it and that night, it'll be 9 p.m., my hair will be curled, I'll have no makeup on. And I'm looking at myself and I'm like, I look amazing. My hair has never looked better, it's never been shinier, it's never been bouncier, and I have nowhere to go. Only Colton gets to, to see the benefits of it, which is great because he does appreciate them. But I'm just like, on the days where I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to this really cool industry event or we need to network and I just wanna feel like A++ confidence, I will be in here for hours trying to get shit to look right and it just doesn't and i just i wonder what that is is that like a placebo effect is it in our heads like do we probably look the exact same but we're just like uh of course no one's gonna see this and it's the best it's ever looked or is it is there something real to that if you guys understand comment below make me not feel insane if you have no idea what i'm talking about and you just like look amazing all the time lucky for you can't be your friend let's get started on makeup shall we <gasps> did i show the nails i can't remember if i did 
so cute i asked for like a pink and white bridal thing and she was like oh my gosh do you know justin bieber's wife i was like yes girly it's my girl and i was like oh my god yes Haley bieber nails she was like we have the chrome like i can do like a light white chrome and i was like girl mess it up do you do moisturizer or primer first i think moisturizer using the charlotte tilbury magic cream just giving myself also like a little facial massage when i'm applying moisturizer just to like drain everything that's a little puffy We are getting ready to leave. This is the final look before the look. Here's okay. my final look. <sighs> my undershirt is fine because no one will see it, hence the title undershirt. Excuse me, Leslie. Colton. Okay, so I just finished getting ready and I I thought this was a tie, but it turns out it's just a piece of fabric. Don't look like I'm part of Special Victims Unit. No, you literally don't. Hello! Our videographer just got here. Not, it's not a videographer. Our photographer just got here. We haven't asked her to make a video yet, but hopefully she's cool with it. Okay, we're halfway through. Danny looks great. We're getting great pictures. Jocelyn's killing it. And Danny's changing, but I'm actually not. I'm just doing the old roll up your sleeves. So this isn't too far from you? I would have, oh geez, that is far. Hello vlog. I think we left off last. Uh, we were doing our engagement shoot, I think. Um, so we will have those pictures back in two to three weeks, our photographer said, so we're so excited to see those. Um, but today, I can speak so much more freely after today is done. I'm so excited about today because I am making my bridal party proposal boxes. Colton is out vacuuming our car um, because I went to my workout class this morning that I'm still doing, still absolutely loving, Boonda. Um, I think I talked about that in another vlog. It is half Stairmaster, half weightlifting, and I'm just like I'm loving it so much. And obviously I'll talk more about it when I've done it for longer than just, I think I've only done it for two weeks. My friend had a friend who opened up a studio here called Boonda. I'm absolutely loving it. My knee is loving it. Colton's come with me a few times. He loves it. It's just making me feel very strong, which I'm not the body type that is, I'm not aiming to be 85 pounds. That's your body type. That's what you naturally are. You're like peak health. I love that for you. That's not me. I'm a curvier girl. I just feel my best when I feel the strongest. Like when I put on muscle, I feel the best. I feel the sexiest. I feel the most confident. So super excited about that. And we are in full clean mode. So anything you see behind me, no, you didn't. And I'm going to build my proposal boxes. Finally, for those of you guys that don't know, we got engaged in July and I feel like some people might say this is a little late to be doing this. I don't care. I was in the works, in the scheming, in the in my laboratory trying to find the best partner for my proposal boxes and I was so lucky to have gotten to talk to Birdie Gray. This is gonna come out far after they've been asked so I can like finally talk openly about it because like for the last couple months I've been talking to my sisters on the phone and like my best friend and just having to be very like yeah well like you know what are your plans for next year for travel do you have anything booked like if someone were to need you to go on a trip for three to four days like would you be available and also my best friend in the entire world i'm asking him to be my man of honor and i am so excited because not only is he my best friend in the whole world my friend soulmate he also is that bitch he's actually like super creative but he also has that in him to just be like type a and get a bunch of people to like get their ish together coordinate delegate he's so good at that and me doing this process for the bridal party without him has been i've just needed him so i'm so excited to be talking to him and having him join me on this process finally and i have a giant 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 announcement hold please da -da -da! Full transparency, I reached out to them to work with them on an item for the proposal box. And the sweet, sweet people at Birdie Gray that I was talking to are, I think, literal angels on earth because they were like, oh my God, yeah, we'll just absolutely gift you 
the boxes, some goodies to go inside, getting ready outfits. Like for any of my fellow brides out there, you know that planning a wedding is um, stressful for like the time management of it all, but mostly it's such a financial burden. And like, I think when you ask people how much your wedding cost and they say whatever the total was, they forget about proposal boxes, wedding day gifts, goodies to go in the proposal boxes, pajamas if you want people to get ready in pajamas, robes if you want them to get ready in robes, the groomsmen gifts. There's like so many little things that add up. So this is just such a blessing to me and I don't take this a second um, for granted. I know this is a privilege and it's not a right and I'm like pinching myself that stuff like this um, can happen to us for our platform. Thank you to you guys and on our other channel, our music channel that we've built, we're so proud of and we're so, so grateful for those of you guys that have hopped over and new faces that we've gained on this little journey. And yeah, we know we're just in the building phase, but like we're so excited to just be here for the long haul and share with you guys our little home videos, which today entails a really core memory for me. So let's do it. Oh, first, they sent seven slippers. Look how cute those are. Are you joking me? I hope you can see how super fuzzy they are. Oh my God, so excited. This was completely not a part of like, even when they were like, we'd love to send you like goodies in the proposal boxes. They were like, and get ready outfits. And I was like, oh my God, I would absolutely love to like give them a personalized set of pajamas to wear the day of. That's like literally a dream of mine. And they were like, also go ahead and like pick out a pair for you to wear while you're getting ready because we would love to like make you feel special too. So I picked out, <laughs> look how cutie. Are you kidding? So they're little silky satin shorts in white and then the top goes with it. Oh my God, you're joking me. I got this in a size medium because I do want to feel comfy and flowy the morning of because I will be having so many like nervous poos situation. I don't want to feel bloated, but it looks like it's a really good like true to size medium. I'm not like a girly that likes um, fitted pajamas. If you are, I again, love that for you. That's not me. If it's touching my body at all too tightly, I feel like it's like boa constricting me to death. So I can't do that. They were also nice enough to say I could personalize each pajama with their little initials. So I decided to just do that in like a really pretty cursive font on the back. Look how beautiful. I'll show all the items and then we'll get the boxes out and like build them. Okay, great. So those are the pajamas. Oh my God. A little silk scrunchie. Are you joking? I know the hot takes of like bridesmaids boxes and they're like, how to build a box that your girls will actually use. The few times I've been asked to be in weddings, it was a lot of the scrunchies, the claw clips, the sunglasses, but like, yes, I'm not gonna go put on like Megan's bridal party sunglasses on every day, but it's such a cute little memory for me and like a keepsake. And I don't know, maybe that's maximalist of me, but I really like that stuff and it reminds me of the day and the memories made on that day. So I don't know, I'm not, I'm not for the like, trying so hard to be unique. Um, sorry, girlies and Trevor. Lastly, this is definite batch party vibes. And I'm absolutely making every one of my bridal party wear this on our bachelorette party wherever we end up going. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care what you say. These are adorable. Like, in the street with my bestie. Uh, uh, and they're actually are incredible quality. You guys know the like, cheap sunglasses where this little axis here is so loose like the second that you get them this is so sturdy and like so cute and then this is what the actual box looks like it's an all white box and on the top in gold shimmery writing it says birdie gray all right let's get into it Okay, so I wanted to throw in a few extra things um, besides the Birdie Gray package, just like a few little goodies to throw in the box that feel a little bit like more personal, like they came directly from me. So nothing big, but I was able to get some Le Labo samples in my favorite scents of an oil, a face scrub, a lotion, like it's gonna smell so yummy. I've used all of these. Incredible. I'm gonna drop some of those in each one. Also been able to get this little gift package of the Mario Badescu facial sprays. I've used all these except the facial spray with aloe, adaptogens, and coconut water. I've never used that one, so I might keep that one for myself because I had to get two packs of five, so that means there's 10 total, and there's eight of us, nine of us, including myself, so I get to keep one. So the last final touch after the Mario Badescu 
is I made these two images on Canva, then printed them on some cardstock. So the first one says, hey girly, before you continue, please grab your phone, set her up somewhere to see your beautiful face and press record, yes, really? Because obviously I want them to record their reaction for my memories and joy and you know, just to like giggle and watch over the years. But the biggest part of these boxes is I want to get their reaction because the best part of the whole proposal box is I am surprising them by letting them know that seven bridesmaids dresses of my slash their choosing is on Birdie Gray. And they have been so incredible. They are gifting seven bridesmaid dresses. Again, if you guys have been in weddings or been a bride asking your party, you know that's one of the biggest financial burdens of being in someone's wedding. Cause also like recently in the last couple years, these dresses have gotten so extravagant. Like people will find them on these like designer websites and ask people to pay like upwards of $300 on bridesmaids dresses. And that is just not something that I wanted to do. So even before I was talking to Birdie Gray, I was gonna figure out a way to make this the most cost efficient. But I just know if this was me as a bridesmaid opening this box, it would just be such a weight off my shoulders. Like obviously you don't think immediately of the finances, but you do. It's a big ask to be in someone's bridal party, which is the read me section of this. I know being asked to be a bridesmaid is far from a low maintenance ass, so to make sure you can ball out on a bachelorette trip, hee hee, JK, kind of. Birdie Gray was kind enough to supply seven bridesmaids dresses for my best girls dress options to come. Thank you, Birdie Gray. I'm so excited to put this in the box. Um, hopefully they listen and set up their phones to record so I can get their honest reaction. But I'm just gonna place that in the center of the box here. Boom. So hopefully it's the first thing they read. Gonna go write some letters and try not to cry. I've been working on this for I don't know how long and now I have my last box which is Trevor, my man of honor. And I got all his stuff from Amazon, like his box stuff, which is, looks super similar to the girl's box, but it's black, which I think is so cute. And I found these on Amazon, so cute! Cause if you remember, the girl's pajamas that I ordered from Bernie Gray are like that sea glass, moss, sage color. And I found these. He's probably gonna hate me for requesting that he wears these on the day, but sorry, bitch. Sorry, Trev, love you. You have to wear this, just at least for a picture. Lastly, I ordered him a custom gold tie clip with his initials. I hope that that's showing up. TJO, I think it's so pretty and luxurious looking. I'm still waiting on an Etsy order for like, I'm sure you guys have seen them. They're like the, they draw. Wait, my dad got us one. Similar to this style, which is so cute. Like will match your hair colors and your skin colors. But I made one that said, I can't remember what it said, but I'll show the order. I think it's like, do you remember like hold my shit together? So yeah, I'm gonna put this together using some of the fluff from the Birdie Gray boxes, which is very helpful. And yeah, I'll add on his final little card when it comes in, but then I can package these up and send them off. Let's get popping. This is what it looks like. Help. I put his card there, the Le Labo samples there, his little tie clip there, his pajamas underneath, and then I'm popping the request to record on top. Sign sealed, delivered. Show the real behind the scenes. Holy macaroni. Just like absolutely destroyed. But in other news, wow. Beautiful. Colton, are you serious? I'm gonna go clean this up now and figure out what we're doing for dinner because it is 5.53 on Sunday evening and we for sure don't have our life together. That's okay, that's all right. This is basically a huge, mm -hmm. this was a huge bit of my to-do list for the weekend. So I'm glad I got this taken care of. I'm so excited to send these out and get them on the road. Put a little step by step of that, that'll be so cute. Um, thank you guys for coming along with this journey. Gonna go Sunday it up and figure out what we're doing with our lives and we'll see you next time.